All right, we're talking to Donnie O'Malley about his life as a Marine and the dark humor surrounding it and how he created humor in combat with his laptop. Isn't this an amazing story? So, Donnie, okay, so not only do you have that TV and you're the mm -hmm. CEO of this great digital streaming platform, but you created a movie mm -hmm. called A Grunt's Life. Mm -hmm. Why? Why the movie? Uh, so, I had always believed that there was an opportunity to give infantrymen, those who have, who have done the hunting and been hunted, um, a piece of comedy that recreated their experience and then crossed over into fantasy sometimes mm -hmm. and then into parody at other times. Right. Because that was kind of the way we lived our lives in combat. Mm -hmm. um, always using parody and fantasy, talking about wouldn't it be cool if, or <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if. Right. That, that seemed like that never stopped. And so I thought, well, why don't I just take all of these conversations I've had with guys in combat, though wouldn't it be funny if and wouldn't it be cool if, and put it into a movie, mm -hmm. and we did. And then here it is. So let's take a quick yeah. clip of A Grunt's Life. Another round, didn't we, sir? Don't mind if I did. That's the house. He says nothing to worry about it. The Marines are always welcome in his home. We're here to win the hearts and minds of the people. So you mean two to the chest, one to the head, sir? <laughs> yeah, the dialogue is a little salty. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah. And by the way, you didn't mention that you starred in it. Uh, I did. I starred in that one. I figured I wrote it. So as a beginning director, I mean, I just started being a filmmaker. All of us did at Vet TV. Right. Just started being filmmakers when the business started. Wow. So we're new at everything. And I had no idea what I was doing, truth so be told, when what, I, tell me when what, I started. Tell me what your audience is thinking. So these, these are, you, talk, you call them grunts, you call them, you know, these guys served with you, they, they've been in combat, they understand the dynamic that you just, how are they responding to this? Um, in general, those who have served in the infantry or are in the infantry right now uh, say it's the greatest thing they've ever seen. And that's wow. exactly what I had hoped for. Doesn't that make you feel great? It makes me feel amazing. Um, and there, are, and there are life lessons in this, right? In everything you do? Um, almost everything. I would say in some, I left that out, and that's just being a, a beginning filmmaker. I yeah. look back at some of my work, and I'm like, eh, I could have I could have structured that story better. I could have had a better message there. Well, that's but true in it's every a, case, It's though. a growing problem. We just started as filmmakers. Yeah. Okay, so just totally outside of the movie and the, the, the streaming platform, what has this road been, this entrepreneur life been for you since you got out of the Marines? Um, the How most, has it been? The most challenging, uh, mentally, um, part of my life. Really? Marine Corps was a, it was a complete joke compared to entrepreneurship. You're kidding. <laughs> complete joke. It's tough, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. I've never heard that. Oh, I mean, you joke. think of the Marines as, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's easy compared the to... The rules of engagement in business are tougher than being uh, a Marine. <laughs> I can't be, Donnie. Entrepreneurship is... I mean, that, that's, that's probably why it was like 90% of businesses don't make it mm -hmm. after a yeah. year or so. You know, yeah. I don't know the, the numbers, but it's a hard thing. And, and I'm, I've been unbelievably fortunate to have people who believed in this business and believed in what we had the power to do for our community mm -hmm. because it's a connection to our community. We're very open, like, we don't care if anyone else watches it. We want more people to watch because we want you to peek into our world and understand our experience. Mm -hmm. You know, you, if you want to study veterans, watch our stuff and ask the question, why are they laughing at this? Yeah. And, and that what do they need insight. afterwards to support themselves in the real world mm -hmm. after they've been through this, mm -hmm. right? So we have, we've been very fortunate to have a lot of people who, um, none of whom had barely any experience at all in what we've been doing, but because they believed and they all had an incredible work ethic, we have been able to accomplish um, what has never been done. Well, in a very weird way, you are a breath, a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because honesty, I think, is missing so much today, media yeah. and film and everything else. And, and you know, you may be standing next to Martin Scorsese in your next film. You don't know mm. what's going to happen. But the, the truth is, we're grateful for your service. We're yeah. grateful for all yes. the men and women who serve in our military. And we appreciate the fact that this is a glimpse into, into that world that helps us understand you yeah. and helps us appreciate you more. 
So thank you for coming. Congratulations on the, the success of Vet TV. Thank you. And we'll tell everybody about it. We will. Yeah, thank yeah, you. We will. Good to Appreciate see you. Good to Thanks see you for down. being here. Hope you all love it. <laughs>